Welcome to Season 4 of the NASCAR International Cup Series. Your current points champion, Felix Palau Kromberg, is in the front. In this new system, in the new playoff system, you have to win to get in. Only drivers who have won at least one race have a chance to win the title 20 races into the season. We are underway here in Daytona. As part of a throwback week, we're actually racing on the 1959 version of Daytona International Speedway. Modern cars on an old track should be a good one. And already the three of Rada is going into the inside to try to take the lead. There is 18 laps, and under this new system, every driver has to pit at least once due to the excessive amount of fuel and tire wear. The Mason-Dixon teammates are all running top 5 at the moment, and it will be Kromberg who takes lap 1. Seems to be the inside lane is the most preferred at the moment. Here comes Dustin Morrison Jr. Who's, co who's coming in. Meanwhile, let's try to meet our new rookies for season four. We have the four. We have the 40 of Jeremy Cottle, who was currently the second member of the newly formed Skunk Sport. Chilling in, chilling in second to last at the moment. Stilling in last at the moment is the 19 of Fusa Opsal, who's driving for Volkswagen La Pazza, and the 39 of Sony Ross, who is driving for her own team that she just founded, Good Smile Racing. Those are the... And last but not least, the number 54 of Dopik Mine, who is driving for Race with Pride. Those are the four rookies that will be contending for their own, for their own trophy this season. Meanwhile, it's last season's Rookie of the Year, David Noonan, is currently in the lead. Yes. Yeah, how about that? A, the newly formed Skunk Sport has top two. Cotto at first, Pasquale at second. Very tight racy, but no crashes yet. They always seem to be inevitable here in Daytona. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. All cars are three wide going into turns three and four. Martin goes up into the apron a little bit, but that doesn't seem to affect his driving. The 40 and the 44 work together on the outside. Oh, and New Martin and Newton make contact, but it doesn't seem, but it has not affected the field, surprisingly. The fastest lap has been done by the rookie of Futa Opsal, who has a 47 flat. These cars top at around 192 miles per hour because of the restrictor plate. And meanwhile, here comes the 7 of Marin, who looks to take the lead from Lamardi, coming into turn 3. Here comes, here comes Martin and O'Sherwood. They're going to pull it off, and Levante Martin is your new race leader, with the help of Kelloff of Sherwood. Spear, but can this be the season where he does pull it off? Coming out of turn four. Martin almost gets handled with his teammate. And 70 to 57 crash! That's what we've been waiting for, we have a huge wreck going. The 54 in it, the 65. The three of Rada seems to have gotten the worst of it. Martin is back on his feet. Both of the Cadillac teammates were involved. Mine is, Mine is out. Not a good start for the rookie to say the least. But other than that, most of the cars seem to be fine. Let's see what happened there. The 70 and the 53 make contact and it's just all chaos from there.
Oh, goodness. Luckily, the 7 of Edgewater was undamaged. It looks like the 70 hit the 14, causing her to spin. While that crash occurred, we're going to have some drivers coming in for pit stops. As I said before, every driver makes at least one pit, st makes one pit stop in this race. Here comes the 25 of Old Shorewood. Almost made contact with the 8 getting into the pit stall. Who's going to be the first one in to make it out of the stall? Very important that the pit crews use as little time as possible. Some drivers are already out. Looks like it's going to be the 8 of Luis Gustavo de Barza, and it is. Gustavo de Barza gets ahead of the 25. Here are some drivers coming in for the second round who skipped the first lap. Meanwhile, our main pack has four. And after they'll throw a pit stop, here is your main pack. The 80 of Salter won round two. He is with Baker. It's both well the 57, the 39, and the 8. The rookie of Sony Ross. What a win it would be for her if she wins her first career race in the NICS. A six-car battle for the lead. Which one of these six drivers would be the first to go into the playoffs? We currently have Martin, Huckleberry, Mine, the 59, and the 19. That's two rookies who are lapped out or could be retired because of the crash from earlier. Here we are with the cockpit view of Luis Gustavo de Marzo once again. Four laps to go here in Daytona. Three laps to go. Luis Gustavo de Marza. Or if I don't want to say that, if I don't want to say Luis Gustavo de Marza too much, I'll just say LGD. But it's currently Baker who has to lead. The inside lane seems to be more favorable, and now they're going to be approaching lap traffic. The 80 of Salter driving by himself to look into the inside. Every single one of these drivers is representing a different team. And one of them is going to come in with the first win of the season. Two laps to go. The 9 of Baker has the lead. They have to get around the lap traffic of Steve Rada, and some of them are able to do it well, some of them not so much. Baker's the first one to get out of it. And now Baker has a gigantic lead. The 57 and the 39 look to get to the inside, but the 25's blocked them. Now they get out of the way. Nick Baker has a huge lead because of the lap traffic. But the 80 of Jay Salter is catching up. Another car who's lap traffic. I believe that's Darren Falconstar, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. Can the 9 and the 80 get past him this time? This time it's no issue for either of the drivers. One lap to go. Nick Baker currently has the lead, but because he's so far ahead, that could help the 80 and the 8 get a really huge draft. Coming into turn 1. The 9 wants to stay in the middle, but the 8 gets as far inside as he can. It is now a 5-driver race. The 57 is out of it. Can Nick Baker hold on for half a lap? Baker seems to have got it so far, but here he goes. Coming into turn three. The eight of LTT is coming into the inside. Is he going to make the pass coming out of turn four? He will. It's going to be a drag race all the way to the start and finish line. The eight versus the nine. Who is it going to be? Checkered flag. It will be LTT. The we just stop the Marza. The first drive of the lock himself into the playoffs this season. With a very huge finish. Two one hundredths of a second. A very fantastic race from the last from these six drivers in the pack. But it is the eight. Although he although he has not won the title, he has won this league's equivalent of the Daytona five hundred. Which is one hell of an achievement. Congratulations, Luis Gustavo de Marza.